Hello everyone, we are continuing our Honda to Flash Pro series. Uh, if you've been watching, uh, we unboxed the uh, Flash Pro, we talked about setting it up, and we talked about how the Flash Pro actually works. Um, this video, we'll be talking about the bread and butter of this product, and that's calibrating and calibrations. Now, one thing you have to know is that the best way to maximize this product, the, you know, like these Flash Pros, is to actually go to a professional tuner and have them tune your car. Now, the reason why it would be, it would, they will make a map, a calibration specific to your car, which would be great. Um, and you can accomplish this in a lot of ways. And in this video, we're actually going to break down those ways and it's gonna be quite exciting. So let's dive in. All right, so the first way you do it is you're gonna drive your S2000 to a shop a professional reputable shop and when you get there you know you probably talked to the shop beforehand got some pricing some information but when you go there they're gonna put your car in a dyno they're gonna utilize the flash pro uh, uh, and the flash pro software and they're gonna do some runs with your car in the dyno and at that point in time they're gonna go ahead and calibrate it so they're gonna be utilizing the dyno the flash pro and they're gonna tune in everything that you want to maximize your power and your mods the second part, which a lot of people don't know, is remote tuning. Now I'm pretty excited about being able to tell you this because this alone makes the whole worth the whole video worth it. Now remote tuning is when maybe you live across the country, but you hear that this guy, you know, in California tunes S2000s really well, and maybe you live in New York. So what you're able to do is you're able to utilize your Flash Pro. Um, you put in your car and the tuner will give you instructions. He'll tell you exactly what to do and you need to data log your car while you're driving it. So, you know, he'll tell you to drive it, to do some pulls and do everything. And if you don't know what a pull is, that means, you know, full throttle, you know, through first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth gear, whatever he wants you to do, but it's usually, you know, all out. And at that point in time, you send him back your data logs because your Flash Pro does data log, by the way, if you didn't know that. Um, and what he'll do is he'll look at all the little specifics, the stuff that you and I have no idea how to do. And he will see like, all right, we need to fix the knock, we need to fix the feel, we need to do all this stuff, we need to fix the timing. And then he'll send it back to you and he'll ask you to drive the car again and you'll exchange information back and forth. And at that point in time, he'll send something back that's custom for you. Now, I've heard success stories from both sides. Uh, I don't have enough information to tell you, oh, one's better than the other, but I know that the first one's very traditional and the second one is kind of, you know, it solves a lot of issues and, you know, as far as like if you can't get to a shop, which some people can't, it's like a long drive. But I'm personally not in a rush to do either of them. Now you're probably thinking like, what do you mean? Did you just buy this for nothing? Well, Honda gives you uh, some custom generalized tunes in the library already. Uh, and one of those, uh, you could actually buy separately from Honda. Uh, so the Hon Honda S2000 Plus tune, you could buy that for about 300 bucks or so. Um, you could buy that separately, like that's it. And they will provide that and you go, and they say that you know your car will, will drive better and will perform better just from stock. And guys, I have to tell you the truth, I did that already and the car is way different to the point where I met some guy earlier who bought my stock exhaust and we were talking about mods and I said if I could go back in time, I wouldn't waste my money on intake, I wouldn't waste my money on exhaust. I, wouldn't, I mean, I didn't waste those money because I like the sounds, but I didn't really see any difference uh, or feel any different. I got that butt dyno, what people call. So I could feel the huge difference and I'm like super ecstatic. Now I've tried four tunes, but I'm gonna leave that for the next video. Uh, and the reason why I'm taking this piecemeal is because I think it's important for people that maybe ask questions or for me to test things and try things and do things enough so I can come back and be like, all right, I've actually done this. Instead of rushing and kind of telling you stuff that I haven't done or things, you know, some of this stuff takes time and I'm very analytical. And so I'd rather take it piece by piece. So I hope to recap in this video, you learned that the calibrations are bread and butter of this product. You learned how you could go get it tuned. You learned about remote tuning, but you also learned that you get some tunes already, kind of, not for free, but it's embedded in your purchase with the Flash Pro. And that you could data log and you could send those data logs and you could actually utilize that. 
So in our next video, we'll talk about the tunes that I've tried and uh, I'll break down everything about it and it'll be fun. So thank you.